24 hours after Sacramento police announced murder charges in that now infamous K Street gang shootout. Police now tell ABC 10 the gang enforcement team and SWAT team just recovered multiple illegal guns. Take a look. We're talking 16 guns to be exact. Nine of them were privately manufactured or so-called ghost guns recovered at a home on Las Palmas Avenue, according to police. You know, illegal gun possession is increasing in our neighborhoods, which alarms us as we have seen, you know, illegal firearms used in the K Street shooting and, uh, you know, those firearms making into the hands of people who are not supposed to have them. SAC PD seized more than 1600 illegal guns last year, and they've already seized hundreds more in just the first two months of 2022. So again, this is a great concern to us. Uh, the amount of firearms that we're seeing. Police are seizing more and more ghost guns in the capital city every year, with at least 400 of them being taken off the streets in 2021 alone. Often made on a 3D printer, ghost guns are impossible to track in a crime. But just weeks ago, for the first time in more than half a century, the White House expanded the federal definition of a firearm to now include ghost guns. The gun parts will now have serial numbers, so they can be traced and a background check will be required to buy a kit from a commercial dealer. Law enforcement is sounding the alarm. Our communities are paying the price. As a matter of fact, we're told one officer is recovering from minor injuries tonight after having to shoot and kill an aggressive dog that attacked officers as they were trying to seize these guns. We're looking for any and all solutions so I don't, uh, as it relates to this gun problem. And so Sacramento police are announcing one of their first ever gun buyback programs. But we ask that those guns are brought unloaded in the trunk and for people to stay in their vehicle. And we'll have officers on scene that will be able to um, take those firearms and they'll be given a $50 gas gift card uh, in exchange for the firearm. Now that gun buyback is coming up on Saturday, May 21st at police headquarters. We'll be sure to give you a heads up as we get closer to the event.